dear students today we are going to discuss about the biopotential amplifiers we also know the bio signal acquisition or amplification is a difficult one because it handles the bio signal data in the low microvolts or low frequency region and some in case some particularly eeg pre amplifiers are required to detect signals as low as the microvolt also the quality of the bio signal acquisition in the medical instrument and instruments is purely depending upon the medical the pre amplifier design so in this topic we are going to discuss about the bio potential amplifiers and these are very important part of the modern medical instrumentation and we have to amplify the bio potential which are generated in the body at lower levels with the high source impedance and the bio potential amplifiers are required to increase the signal strength that is from the action potential resistance potential we have to increase the signal strength to take a weak bio potential and increase its amplitude it can be processed recorded or displayed so some type of bio potential amplifiers are needed for this processing recording and display the bio potential methods and also to amplify the voltage power and current and some of the characteristics of the bio potential amplifiers are below first one is it is it has high input impedance and it has low output impedance and the bio potential amplifier must be sensitive to important frequency components of the bio signal that is the bio signals are very it is in the very low range that is very few micro volt or milli volt and so this bio potential amplifiers must be sensitive to this low type of frequencies and the bio potential amplifiers have a gain of 1000 or greater that is it has efficiency is very high and the, most of the bio potential amplifiers has to use differential amplifiers and it has a high common mode rejection ratio or high cmrr the cmrr means it is a number that describes how well an input or output will reject noise or how well balanced a balanced line is that is the main function of a cmrr and in this class we have discussed about the instrumentation amplifier also this bio potential amplifiers has a limitations the amplifier has a limited input impedance and therefore some current draws from the signal source and loads them to some extent also the cmrr of the amplifier may not exceed 60 db 60 db in most of the cases so it is usually inadequate in modern biomedical instrument system and we have to overcome these limitations by the availability of improved differential amplifier called instrumentation amplifier so the instrumentation amplifier is mainly used to overcome the disadvantages of the above two cases that is the cmrr of the amplifier may not exceed 60 db and the amplifier has a limited input impedance this all the disadvantages has, has been overcome by the help of this instrumentation amplifier this instrumentation amplifier has some advantages it has high input impedance that is one of the advantages is has the amplifier has a limited input impedance and this instrumentation amplifier has high input impedance and very high cmrr i already told the cmrr is the number that describes how well an input or output will reject noise that is a cmrr and it is very low power consumption available in single ic and high slew rate bias and offset current slew rate means it is a maximum rate at which an amplifier can respond to an abrupt change of input level the change means a sudden change in the input level that is the slew rate so it has the main advantages is high input impedance high cmrr very low power consumption available in single ic high slew rate and offset current and here is the diagram circuit diagram showing the instrumentation amplifier and we have to discuss about the main functions of this instrumentation amplifier in this case it has it is it has a, you know the you just see the figures this structure consists of three op amps you can see three op amps that is a1 a2 and a3 and it has seven resistors 
it has three op amps and seven resistors two buffer amplifiers that is two buffer amplifiers that is a1 and a2 and it is connected to a differential amplifier a3 also in the above in this circuit diagram the this op amp a3 with the four equal resistors r capital r form a differential amplifier with of gain of one that you have to please note that this a3 has a differential amplifier forming four equal resistors capital r and gain of cap gain equal to one and r variable equal to the variable resistance used to balance out any common mode voltage that is any difference in the voltage we we have to balance by this using the r variable and rg is used to set the gain using the formula v0 by v1 minus v2 equal to 1 plus 2 by a that is we have to set the rg and this v1 is supplied to the positive input terminal and v2 to the negative input terminal v0 is proportional to the difference between the two input voltage and the main some of the important characteristics of this instrumentation amplifiers are voltage gain from differential input that is v1 minus v2 to a single input output is set by one resistor that is one of the main advantages the input resistance of both input is very high and do not change as the gain is varied another advantage is v0 does not depend on the common mode voltage but only on their differences that is the three main important characteristics of this instrumentation amplifier so in this figure you can note that it has three op amps and seven resistors two buffer amplifiers a1 and a2 connected to a differential amplifier a3 and uh, op amp a3 with the four equal resistors capital r form a differential amplifier with a gain of one and the rg by using a equation that is v0 minus v1 by v2 equal to 1 plus 2 by a and you have to know the three important main characteristics of the instrumentation amplifier that is all about the instrumentation amplifier that is used as a biopotential amplifier